What up players, it's Wolf Lost Tail up in this mud. Today we're gonna to be looking at a Space Marine bike. These come in one pack for about the price of 30 tacos from Jack in the Box. And usually though, you want more bang for your buck, you should pick these guys up in the Raven Wing box set for um, a little bit over $100, but uh, American. But you get, I think, six of these, an attack bike and a land speeder. I believe. I think that's it. So the, the value is there if you want a bike heavy army, if you want to have a Ravenwing army, build upon the Ravenwing figures that are included in the Dark Vengeance kit, or if you want a White Scars army. White Scars are also known for their fast attack. So the first thing you get, sheet of transfers, and um, as fast attack, I think your bikes would use this one, right? The X's? I believe, or is it this upside down V, inverted V? I don't remember. Ah, I don't know my iconography. Anyways, white scars definitely would use these. And let's see if there's a, there's no raven wing. Is there a raven wing symbol? Yes, there are here. Those are like raven wings. Anyways, let's take a look at the, the kit. You get two screws. And these, these were actually sculpted a while ago. So they've got these old Tonka toy truck wheels. And um, see what you get. You get the double bolters for the handles, the handlebar, little flagpole on the back, two halves of the body. And the other half you get one more Tonka wheel. You gotta put together the foot part, the part for the feet, where the feet go, the front of the bike, where the two twin link bolters slot into, and then you get the Space Marine biker himself. So you get legs, a head, a backpack, two arms, shoulder pads, and a very simple torso. There's no instructions included with this because it was made so long ago. The instructions are actually included here on the back on how to glue this baby together. Of course, Ultramarines, the glory boys of uh, the Games Workshop Space Marine Army. And a little detail here of um, if you want to paint like a little radar screen. So no real options for conversion or anything. You're going to have to do that yourself using bits from other ranges and just clever imagination and ingenuity. There's a lot of great tutorials online on how you can elongate the front to make it look like a chopper motorcycle, and I think that's pretty awesome. There's also, if you remember a while back, when the Blood Angels came out, the Blood Angels article in White Dwarf had one conversion where a biker was kind of like leaning on the ground rather than having both legs up in the riding position. And I think he had one arm down and like looking through, a, through binoculars or something. So I'm gonna be converting up a White Scar's biker using this kit, so stay tuned for that. And um, if you want a regular biker kit, like I said, you can get this for uh, around 30 tacos. Check in the box. And uh, yeah, you're gonna need more than one to make this an effective unit, but bikers are pretty cool in sixth edition. So this might be a cool kit to have. And uh, it might be a cool unit to field, especially Ravenwing players with the new Ravenwing figs. This guy here, having a, a couple bikers to back him up, might be just the thing. So you can definitely tell that the, the Ravenwing bikers from Dark Vengeance are a lot more detailed, have a lot more cool little bits and pieces to them. Just even the angle of the bikes, there's an angle to it, whereas these Space Marine bikes are meant to sit flat on the base. But um, Games Workshop is definitely improving their biker models. So thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next one. Latest players.